Have you spent your life perpetually single? Are you in your 20s and you can say you've never had a boyfriend? Do you constantly ask yourself, what's wrong with me? Why does nobody want me? Been there, done that. If you have two, then I guess this video is for you. Hi, welcome back to Vlogmas Day, whatever it is. I'm posting all my videos and I film out of order, so I don't know what day it is. So today I'm talking about being <laughs> grown as fuck and never having been in a relationship. So I'm in a relationship now. I'm also <laughs> about to turn 26, so it's about damn time. I'm just gonna talk about my experience spending 24 years of my life single and never having been in a relationship. I'm gonna talk about what it was like being single for that long, what it was like dating and never ending up in a solid partnership, I guess you could say. I'm going to talk about how I ended up in a relationship and yeah, stuff like that pretty much. And I'm also gonna talk about why I was single for so long and what it was like being single versus in a relationship and yeah, all that stuff. So if this is something you're going through, then I guess just watch this video for some reassurance and I don't know, just why not? <laughs> so I'm 26. And I was single up until I was 24. When I was 24, I got into like a relationship, but we weren't official official until I would say I was 25, bitch. So I'm 25, I'm turning 26 soon. And I got into my first relationship around 23. And boyfriend and girlfriend did not happen until I was 24 actually. So I was literally just dating people or single, single, single for the majority of my life. I only really ended up in one real situationship that felt like boyfriend and girlfriend, but didn't ever go there, of course, because men. Um, and then the boyfriend that I have now is the person that I got into the real relationship with at 24. So <laughs> what was that like for me? Um, in high school, I did not have a man ever. Like I did not ever talk to someone, date, like go on a date, um, have someone like me back. I never had that. There, there would be people that like might pursue interest in me because they were attracted to me, but I wasn't, like I just, I didn't give anything back because A, I was too shy. B, I felt like I was like better than all the guys there because they were so gross. And C, I was very awkward, which I guess goes with shy. So I never ended up in, <laughs> like in any type of situation in high school like I just never I never had a guy ever so by the time I went to college I didn't know how to act like I like sorry when I say I didn't know how to act I don't mean like I was out in the streets no I mean like I did not know how to act around boys because well I guess at this point in my life they were men because I was in college but I did not know how to act around men because I never I never dated anyone so I got into my first situationship with this little white boy that my friend introduced me to and I was an awkward mess like I was just so awkward I never knew how to like have a full conversation with him like I would get really shy and like I would like avoid eye contact I would have too much pride in texting first and all that stuff I would never initiate plans and I had really strict parents so Getting out of the house and going to hang out with him was really difficult. So we only really hung out when we were doing our like double dates and it was just awkward. It was weird, but for some reason we were still kind of talking, but we, I don't really think we were. But in my mind, because I'd never talked to someone, I was like, oh my God, I really like this guy. Like, I really, really like him. And I just wanted it to work so bad. And I would find myself like double texting him and, and stuff like that eventually when I actually realized like I liked him and when we lost communication I would reach out to him again I was just stupid like the guy didn't want me it was very clear but I didn't know how to take those cues because I'd never talked to a guy before so after that my next situation ship was this guy from my college um, and this one was a little more serious this was maybe I was 21 it was 2015 that we started talking and this one was I it felt like love like I thought I was in love with this man and <laughs> I just didn't know how to show that to him. Like in his mind, he was like, does Ashley even like me? Because I was so unaffectionate and strange and just weird with him sometimes because again, I did not know how to act. I didn't know how to show affection. I didn't know how to be open about my feelings. I expected the guy to put in all the work and I just got to sit and be pretty and like be loved. And he eventually was like, I'm not getting anything out of this. So he ended it. 
and in my mind i liked to think that it was mutual because i was starting to get over it because i thought he was an asshole for like not putting effort in anymore but in reality he wasn't putting effort in anymore because he was never getting it back because i didn't know how to act so he ended it but in my mind like when we had that conversation i was like yeah this is the right thing and like i thought it was mutual but looking back it wasn't really mutual it was him and um those were like my two main little um things in between all those i was do go like going on dates and stuff but i just never had a boyfriend i was very picky at one point in my life but also it was a lot of just it going nowhere because i just didn't know how to further pursue someone um and it just got weird so i'd go on dates maybe there'd be a second or third and then like it would just get awkward and it was always me and it just resulted in me being single until i was 24 and it sucks like i remember i would be lying in bed and just be like i just want a boyfriend like i just want a boyfriend because i just wanted to experience it and go through things and i wanted to experience heartbreak <laughs> and looking back i wish i never fucking manifested that i wanted to have someone i could cuddle and take pictures with and just the shallow shit that comes with being in a relationship just because i never experienced it so my mind was like i just want a relationship i want someone to like hang out at my house and like meet my family and i want to cook for someone and i want to get cute for someone and go on dates i just wanted all the, like the little fun stupid things that come with a relationship without realizing that it was work like it's it's real work so i was literally just wishing for a relationship and seeing all my friends get into them and new year's would come around and i couldn't be with my friends because they were all doing things with their boyfriends so it would either result in me third wheeling or me being alone so i started to spend some new years alone or like with people that i wasn't that close to because i didn't really have anyone else and it just got redundant like i was just over it and i was like i just want a boyfriend but i never put the work into myself to truly manifest a good person so i just kept attracting like shitty guys and i was giving them the time of day because i i don't know i just was lonely i was super lonely and i just wanted someone and i just didn't realize how much work would come with it so 24 years in i'm just like damn this shit is getting old and i just let it go i forgot about it i stopped trying for a boyfriend all that stuff like i was just kind of like whatever like <laughs> whatever and i started going out um sorry i shouldn't even say 24 is when i started going out i started like feeling those feelings are like 23 i started going out a lot i had a huge club rat phase i was like always talking to promoters and talking to people at clubs and like i was not i wouldn't say like i was like doing the most i was definitely just entertaining people and flirting and just like having fun but i wasn't actually like talking talking to anybody i was just being single and i was okay with it and then at 23 a friend and i reunited and got really 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 close male friend we got really 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 close and um like eventually like there were feelings like he had the feelings first and then i had the feelings even though i was like pushing them away for a minute because i was like that's the homie no that's my friend and um what's weird is like i told myself that but also deep down when i met him like five six years ago i was like this is a soulmate i was it was just so weird the day i met him i wasn't even that spiritual at the time i was like this is someone that i'm connected to like th this is someone that i had known before i don't know why i met him i met him for a reason and i i was so overwhelmed with all these feelings of like familiarity with him when i first met him and we just clicked like that and i was overwhelmed to the point where like i literally was driving home like what the fuck just happened who is this person why did i meet him that was so weird and like we just stayed friends for years and like he had a girlfriend and i was talking to people or whatever and we never got into a relationship at all like we just or like liked each other we were friends we were legitimately friends so by the time i was 23 we reconnected blah 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 we got really close and eventually he started pursuing me and i noticed that he was pursuing me and i was like and then eventually I started to like fall for him and we ended up dating. And um, this is who I'm with right now, it's my boyfriend right now. So after I would say, I don't know, like months of like close, close friendship, we spent every single day together. After months of friendship, um, he drunkenly told me that he liked me and we ended up together. And like, we just ended up together and then we broke up and then we got back together. And now we've been pretty solid, so the experience of getting into a relationship after being single for so long was overwhelming like 
I did not know how to be in a relationship. I didn't know certain things I had to do or say or reciprocate or work on to be with this person. I didn't know how certain fights would go. Like I, it was so weird to me. Like I felt like he would always be there, and I felt like arguments could just kind of like you know, like we, we could just get over them. And I didn't realize how much work it is to be in a relationship. Being in a relationship is literally like being in a part. Being in a relationship is kind of like a part-time job. And I'm not saying like the shitty aspects of a part-time job. I'm just saying the effort and the time that you put into it to nourish it and make it grow and be a beautiful relationship is, it's, it's a lot and it's worth it when you're in a good relationship. But you can't just think that you're gonna start dating after being single for 25 years, 20 years, 19 years, whatever, and start dating and like, it's just like, let's go on dates and take cute pictures and hold hands and tell each other how much we love each other and get in a fight and get over in an hour and introduce each other to our friends and family and like, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. It's not that, like, it was a lot of work. Um, a lot of the times I was not opening up enough. I was not affectionate enough in the beginning because I just didn't know how to be. I wasn't comfortable with being affectionate because I'd never expressed affection to anyone because I didn't feel like anyone really deserved it because I wasn't dating them. And I didn't know certain things that I had to do. Like if something's bothering me, I didn't realize that I should just sit down and communicate about it instead of just like getting pissed off in the moment. I didn't realize that if I felt like I did something wrong, I should come to them and apologize before they bring it up to me because I should own my shit without you having to tell me what I did wrong. I didn't realize that I should listen to listen and not listen to respond. And to this day, I still have that problem sometimes. I didn't know that I need to put my defense down. I didn't know that I need to love myself in order to fully give love to this person because when I wasn't loving myself, I was accepting anything. And I was also not giving enough. I didn't know a lot of things. And it made that first, <laughs> I like to call it round of the relationship pretty tough, if I'm being honest, without going too in depth on it, because obviously I want to respect my boyfriend. I don't want to go crazy in detail, but I will say like that first round was pretty rough and a lot of it was my fault because I just didn't know how to navigate through a relationship. And he was so patient with me. And to be honest, like a lot of people would have been like, this is too much to take on. Like, and probably just would have said, fuck this shit. Because I was a lot, I was a lot and I wasn't willing to always take criticism or listen to the things that I was kind of like not giving or doing or doing wrong. So when you're entering a relationship for the first time, it's so important that the person that you're with, assuming they've been in relationships before, it's so important that you listen to them. They know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. They're not just saying things to be an asshole. Like sometimes they just need to be honest with you on things that you need to do or, or improve on. And you need to just hear them out and listen without being defensive or angry or taking criticism poorly because they know better than you. It's like it's like you're going to a job and someone's training you and you try and like get annoyed that the trainer is telling you how to work the cash register or you're like I can figure this out or I've done this at one of my old jobs 5 years ago or blah blah blah, blah. and they're just trying to show you how to work the cash register but you're not fucking listening. You, you just, you can't do that. If you've never worked at Starbucks before and the Starbucks manager is trying to show you how to use their system, you can't just pretend you know how to use it. You can't just say you've used a register before but only for a month or you can't do that. You just gotta shut up, <laughs> not shut up, sorry. You just gotta take in the information they're trying to give you, process it, understand and assess if it's actually, you know, helpful and healthy information and if it's actual, real, authentic information and just go with that, trust them. The relationship that you're in, I'm assuming it's with someone that you you trust, that you value, that you know has good intentions, that you care about and that you know cares about you. So trust that they have your relationship's best interests at heart and your best interests at heart and just go with how they're navigating through it. Take their lead and just listen because otherwise it's not gonna go well. Now I'm a lot better with that. I will say there's still certain things that I learn in relationships that I struggle with. And he's been in a couple. I have, I'm still in my first relationship, you know, and hopefully my only relationship. And I just have to sometimes let him take the lead with certain things. And eventually like I'll experience enough to understand everything fully. And I feel like I'm really getting there, but right now I'm still 
I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Sometimes I'm like, holy shit, like I really haven't experienced this yet. And it's it's so weird. So yeah, um, that's transitioning from being single to a relationship. And then obviously there's heartbreak, your first heartbreak, which is rough. You don't want to go through that, but you probably will. Um, I have a whole video on everything that you're going to experience during heartbreak and it is rough. Like I don't take heartbreak well at all. It's, mm -mm, it's not, it's not fun. <laughs> Um, so I have a whole video on that. I also have a video on getting over heartbreak, which I'm going to post probably this week, but that's my video on being single for 24 years. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions that you guys have for me, ask me in the comments down below, or if there's anything you guys just want to add to this or say about being single all your life, just leave a comment down below on how long you've been single or just what your experience is like or why you want a relationship. Like, let's just chat in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let's talk. So I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing as it's Vlogmas, I will see you tomorrow. So yeah, okay, bye guys.